billing partner and we'll get you fitted just like it was done by a New York tailor. Remember when you're doing your measurements, make sure to tighten the tape up so that you get all of your measurements within an inch because that's, ah, crap. That's okay, we'll let that play. You're um, right. Yeah, I know, but um, remember to have the tape snug right. that's it. because we want to keep our tolerances within one inch so that you have a good fit on your leathers. There you go. Okay. I can remember that. And take two. And take two. Today we're going to walk you through all you need to do to measure and get a custom fit for your Comet leathers. All you will need is a soft tape, a willing partner, and we will teach you how to get a fit like it's made by a New York tailor. Remember when you do your measurements, keep your tape snug because your leathers will be made to within a one inch tolerance of what you fill out on your form and we want your leathers to fit like a second skin. Let's get started. The first measurement that we're going to take is your neck. Position the tape around the neck just below the Adam's apple. We'll move from the neck to the upper chest. This circles the chest just below the armpits. Remember to breathe in and hold your breath while you're being measured so that you have enough room while you're breathing in your leather. Our next measurement will be around the center of the chest or the nipple line. And our model will drop his arms down now that the tape is in place and make sure that that still fits without being too tight. For women's measurement, we also want to take a measurement just below the bust. Continuing to move down, we want to measure the waist. This is the circumference right around your belly button. And if you drop your tape, just go ahead and do it again. From here, we'll move to the belt line. This is where the belts, a belt of your pants would fit right around your hips. Next, we're going to measure the length of our jacket. We're going to start from the hollow of your neck all the way down to the belt line. That's in front. We're going to do the same with our model from the back. From the protrusion in the back of his neck, again, down to the belt line. Moving to the shoulders, we want to measure the back across the shoulders. This line is done from above the armpit, an imaginary line that goes up from the armpit and across the back. Again, don't get confused by where the line on your t-shirt might lie. We now want to measure the entire arm. We're going to start at the nape of the neck, that's that bump in the back, down around the shoulder, to the elbow, and around continuing to the wrist. Moving now from, as we break this down, we're going to do the side of the neck to the shoulder. Again, this is the vertical line from the armpit to the top of the shoulder. From that same point on the shoulder to the elbow. And from the elbow to the wrist. The next circumference measurement we take is the sleeve joint circumference. This is around the armpit. The bicep measurement, make sure you flex. Elbow circumference. Flexed forearm circumference. And wrist circumference.
Make sure your form is filled out. And with these measurements, you will have a perfect custom fit Comet leather jacket. Perfect. Do we want to try to do the pants? Yeah, let me just look real quick on the, pr the process. And let's, yeah, let's knock it out as long as we can. Yeah, you know, you're going to be best the same. Yeah. Totally slipped on that one. That's it. Well, you know, it's all about execution. You've got to be in mind. And, and, hey, look, we've got little, little things out too, right? Well, got the little comet. Slow uh, jam. Action. You want to check make sure we're on the script here? Yeah, you've got little squares over your faces. Yeah. Oh, but we got to back that up because this was made for the jacket. We can't see your legs for the measurement on this one. Well, that's what I was concerned is that if we go back up too much, then we get the wood, wood flooring in. And we're going to. Just okay. That's all right. All right. Where's the zoom? Just it's right there on the, on the command system there. Here, we just got oh, it. you got to bring it up on the screen. Are you going to get the trophies? We can... No, we can bend it forward. Keep going. That's not bad. If it'll stay. It'll stay. We just got to spring your legs there. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're a little crooked here. Let's get this one. Yeah, but I gotta have it zoomed in more than that because we don't want the walls and everything sitting there as well, right? Boy, okay. I don't know if we're gonna get much different than that. Girl. I'll move back. That's fine. I'll move back and I'll be right along that line. Okay, go ahead right and move along. back. Yeah, I'll just be right on the thing. Just like that. All right. That'll work. <laughs> well, if you don't have a willing partner, you're not getting your crotch measured. Uh, okay, that, that works pretty good there. All right. Are we running? Yeah, we are. We're running. Okay. Control, All right. Now that you've got your measurements taken for your jacket, we're going to move along and measure you for your custom fit Comet pants or for the full Comet racing suit. We're going to start with your hip measurement. We want to measure your hips at the widest circumference. This is below the belt line. Make sure it's the widest part of your hips. We'll follow that by measuring your thigh at its widest point. Moving down the knee, make sure it goes right across the center of the knee and across the kneecap. Your calf at its largest point. and your ankle. We're now going to measure vertically from your neck to the front of your knee. And notice our model is bending his knee so that he can, our measurements can be taken right to the point of the knee. We want to measure from the belt line down to the point of the knee, from the point of the knee to the ankle, from the crotch to the knee, and again this is going to be just like if you were getting measured for your inseam. We're going to measure from the front of the belt line to the back of the belt line. Our model will turn sideways so you can see we have to run the tape 
around and through their legs from the belt to the belt. Now again, turning to the front, we're going to measure from neck to the ankle. And here you might help your measuring person out by holding the tape for them, and all the way down to the ankle. And from the neck to the crotch. Again, this goes below just where your jeans would be riding at the top of your inseam. You now have your custom measurements for your full body comet suit. <laughs> Perfect. Done. Ah, good job. Good job. I really said shit on camera.